All right. And we are live on Twitter. We are live on Periscope. Uh, my name is Tarek. Uh, greetings all and welcome to Sommelier's AMAs. And today we have our special awesome guest, um, Bioset P, who is joining us uh, from globally, planet Earth. They have, uh, they're beaming in from uh, their light years away in their uh, special respective universes. And um, I want to say thank you for joining us. Uh, this is our, I think, our fifth or sixth AMA. And the reason why we do these is that we are sommelier.finance. And we are the fastest and easiest way to add liquidity and to manage liquidity on Uniswap v3. And we also uh, track some of the best projects on Uniswap v2 and v3 by analyzing the Uniswap v3 subgraph. And one of the awesome projects we saw was uh, Bioset P. And we've invited them to come on board and share and tell us more about their project, uh, BioP set, sorry, BioP set, get it right. Um, and we have uh, founders uh, Shalakwena and Derek here with us today to introduce us and tell us about this project um, in binary options. That and, and I think we have some announcements as well. They're doing some really cool stuff they're going to announce today with us. So you are in the right spot here on our AMAs for Sommelier. Welcome, BioP set team. Thank you very much, Tariq, for the introduction. So we we are Biopset, and we are doing, as you said, uh, binary options on Ethereum. Yes. And our um, our key are benefits. Uh, sorry, Sean. Oh, I was saying that our name is a shortened version of binary option settlement. This is so this is awesome. And it's funny because I kept seeing BioP and then I saw BioP set and I'm like, it's binary options, silly man. Come on, get it right. Uh, so <laughs> binary options settlement. This is the magic. Uh, and first of all, I, I, I know you. So uh, Derek, you introduced uh, Shalakwina, how do I, how do you go by Shalakwina, Shal, which one? Yeah, Sha, Shalakwiana, whatever you want. Shalakwiana, all right. Shal, as you can tell, I massacre names uh, for breakfast, so I apologize. Um, but, uh, okay, so forgive me and give me, to, I just, I'm so excited because when I heard binary options, I'm like, okay, this is a great project. Uh, tell us more about this project, binary option settlement on the Ethereum blockchain. Okay, Thank so the, so, go for it, Sean. You can, oh, you can do it. Go ahead, Derek. Sorry. Okay. So it's binary option settlement. It's entirely public, entirely decentralized from day one. All of the functionality is on chain from the liquidity to option creation to option settlement which is one of our most defining features. We have designed our system so that anyone anywhere can earn a risk-free income by helping settle other people's options. That's our key justifying point and our options are currently built on top of Chainlink's oracles. Awesome. Why our not? main benefits to against the, our competitors that are the mm -hmm. centralized uh, binary options currently yep. are that we have very low fees, about 10 times lower than the, the centralized uh, competitors, as they usually reward 85 to 90 percent of the of the win um, to the to the betters, while we mm -hmm. our up to 98%. And we cannot be shut down or regulated because even if the website doesn't work, you can always uh, use 
by offset from the directly from the Ethereum contracts. Mm -hmm. And we have no limitation regarding the size of the options, while most other platforms have our requirements. And so they will rule out a lot of people that cannot afford a minimum amount. Any option can be open on, on Bapset on the on the lower side. On the upper side, on the upper limit, the only limit we have is uh, regarding the liquidity in the pool. Yep. And right now, Bapset is made possible by three type of users. The first is, of course, traders. Yeah. They open and close options. And they don't need a counterparty because mm -hmm. the liquidity providers uh, are the counterparty for the traders. And they are rewarded with uh, the BIOP token for providing liquidity to the platform. Mm -hmm. And then there are the settlers that will close every open option when it's time to close them and they will earn a share of the fee by doing so got it question uh if we were to look through the ecosystem of DeFi of option decentralized options offerings who would you say uh you know you uh compete closely with as a substitute for work our closest competitors over the past few weeks, we've been diving in and analyzing them. A large number of them don't actually have products, but of the ones that do, the ones that are closest to us are Spectre AI, except mm -hmm. they require accounts. They require deposits before you can make a trade, which mm -hmm. removes all of the decentralized aspects we're going for. In addition to them, there's Value Network Live. But as far as I can tell, they're mostly operating on Binance Smart Chain and not Ethereum. Right. They also seem to have larger option timelines than we focus on. Our options are focused on shorter timelines. Understood. So then the only remaining competitor that that actually seems to have any sort of working product is Divergence. And they are, they're definitely our biggest competitor. And when we think about the edge that um, uh, Biopisa has, uh, it's going to be most of the fees or 98% of the fees come back to the liquidity providers, is that correct? Yes, uh, when the option expires mm -hmm. OTM. Mm -hmm. Out of the money. Which means it was, yeah, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Then it is, all the fees go straight to the liquidity providers. Derek, you had a thought? Uh, yes, yeah, so I wanted to add that, yeah, when they're out of the money, uh, the, the entirety of the option goes to the liquidity provider, while when they're in the money, 90% of the options go, goes to the winner of the bet. Got it. Got it. Excellent. 90%. How far 90%. So question now, how far along are you and uh, what is the opportunity for liquidity providers? uh today like so i think you guys have something that you're looking to announce so maybe i'm leading the question so i apologize again <laughs> what's the hotness what do you have <laughs> that everybody listening should now be aware so currently we are waiting for the code audit to launch the full platform where you will be able to provide liquidity for the be upset platform mm -hmm. but today we are announcing the Uniswap liquidity uh, rewards that will be will launch on next Friday, Friday, mm -hmm. so on June eleventh, where we will reward 
liquidity providers for the BOP Ethereum pair on Uniswap V2. Interesting. Awesome. So on June 11th, uh, there will be rewards. Uh, there, there, there is a reward opportunity opening on June 11th, and folks can learn more by coming to your Discord? Exactly. That's correct. Okay. Got it. And your website uh, would be, again, just reminding. Yeah, it's biopset.com, B-I-O-P-S-E-T. All right, so for HTTPS, biopset.com. Yep. Got it. Let's see if we got a banner here so folks can see that look. Okay, excellent. And uh, I'm going to keep that up there for a while. You're doing the rewards on Uniswap v2. And uh, what we were curious about is, uh, are you looking to also do rewards on Uniswap v3? And if not, or if so, why? If, if so, yes, why? And if not, why not? OK, we are looking to uh, give rewards to Uniswap v3. But we're not uh, looking to do it right now. We our plans is to wait for either Uniswap v3 on layer two, mm -hmm. uh, or for the the locking period to end, and to look at the market and decide what to do then. Understood. Currently, the locking period period was three months, starting from listing. And Which was in May. OK, thank you. Right, got it, got it, excellent. So right now, you, uh, the structure of V2 has it that you're committed to it, uh, but really V3 as an opportunity would be ideal uh, when the layer two has started. And I think uh, Uniswap may be looking to go, uh, may have had governance passed to deploy to uh, Arbitrium uh, L2. So. There's some time, but, so there's no pressure for you to move to Uniswap v3 world, and uh, there's a lot of opportunity right now in Uniswap v2 to really launch rewards as well as the structure of uh, of your reward setup given the given your listing, like you said, in May. Correct? Yes, exactly. Got it. One of the questions we have at Sommelier is about uh, you know liquidity providers, you know. There's so many opportunities for them. Uh, there are tons where they can place capital and get rewards. Um, what was your commitment to, you know, really, we know your commitment, of course, at the, at the outset and the structure of, um, of the offering is that liquidity providers get rewards within the money or out of the money uh, um, options. Question we have is um, how do you, you know, when we think of keeping liquidity providers on your on your protocol, um, is your staking rewards uh, something that you'll be, is staking rewards, maybe my question is, if I find it is, uh, uh, have you thought long and hard about staking rewards and rewarding liquidity providers for providing liquidity? And, and, and I think you have, so maybe some thoughts around that. Yeah, so currently the plan is for the launch to incentivize uh, trading as well as liquidity providing the most. Yep. Because we, we need volume for the liquidity providing to be effective. Yes. As soon uh, as we, we have enough volume or the, um, uh, the rewards for the liquidity providers are maybe a bit lower uh, yeah. ahead in time, we are probably gonna, gonna change the fee structure to reward them more for the for the out of the money options from the platform. Got it. Very cool. All right. So, so you're already looking to adjust rewards to participants in your network, these liquidity providers, as your platform matures. So you're going to yes, be yes. looking for all tweaks, ways to tweak this model. This is great. Uh, okay. So, how big a market opportunity uh, would you describe that you know when we think about? Um, binary options on Ethereum. Like, how big a market are you guys looking to to scale this, to scale your platform? So the current 
The current binary options centralized market is $1.25 billion a year globally. And our options are offering a higher return than any centralized binary option available anywhere. The highest centralized binary option returns are 90% and we opt for up to 99% if you settle your own option. Which we see as a dramatic step up for users who want to trade options and not lose their fees to centralized oligarchies dominating the binary option world. That's awesome. So again, freedom and then access to, to more fee participation, more revenues and less uh, intermediaries taking or raking from participants. Uh, this is definitely why we do this. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, I think one of the key things is, you know, are you looking to grow your team? Maybe some thoughts about, you know, uh, your team and, and what sort of, you know, help or, you know, what do you want, you know, how are you growing your community? Anything you can share about, because your community is active on Discord, we've seen that. Uh, anything you can share about what sort of folks you want to attract to your community who are listening to, to this AMA and thinking, hey, this is, this is unique, this is new, I want to, I want to participate and get involved. Uh, our we team already. Oh. No, no, go for go it. On, Derek. Okay, oh, our right. team already grew a lot. It, originally, it was just Shah, and now we are, I think, six, six or seven members working on it. Mm -hmm. And I, th I'm pretty sure we are gonna grow uh, quite a lot more in the following months. We're already looking for a web developer. And regarding the the rest of the question, I'll let Shaw answer. Yeah, if you're listening to this and you're a front-end web developer, especially with experience building PWAs or SPAs, then come and contact us. We're ready to hire you immediately. Outside of that, our main focus to grow the to grow the community is through our you you utilization rewards. They are set up so that the majority of BIOP tokens in existence will be distributed to the users of the platform. We want to make sure that the people who care about it and want to have it exist are the ones that control it and ultimately will be administering it through the settlement DAO long term. So active participation in the DAO is something you've already structured from the outset and a commitment to community is also a key pillar of why you, why this will be successful. Yeah. Awesome. That's our hope. Uh, yeah, and, and we've seen it, we've seen it with other projects as well that we've done in AMA is that the, the more tokens uh, that you distribute to community, uh, the more community is active. Uh, responsive and participatory, and uh, we think this is again a, another another identification for for success. All right. Uh, well, anything else I'm missing? So uh, the, again, binary options is a complex place um, and a complex space, an opportunity that you guys are disrupting from DeFi um, and disrupting the centralized sort of players. Anything else you know, folks should think about or keep in mind that you like, Tarek, This message really needs to get out there. Um, one, one thing I'd like to say is that there is a number of competitors that exist in the decentralized space that don't have products. I'm not going to name them, but they have tokens. They've been in development for twice as long as we have with no product. They are not ready. They don't even have a testnet version. And their tokens are valued at 20x the current price of our BIOP token. So if you're looking for some alpha, that might be it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and it's always the people who stay on the stream are like, that is the alpha. <laughs> I got yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here are people who are like, wait a minute, I think I just got alpha. <laughs> so um, I yeah. will put this, uh, this presentation in a transcript so that folks will read it. But yes, uh, you know, if you're listening to the stream, do your homework. 
And uh, and if you're a liquidity provider, take a look. Uh, you know, do your homework. Take a look. Measure what we've heard here. Um, maturity. You know, go to market and availability of project and and consider price and and consider community um, because that's active. I want to say congratulations to you both. Uh, I am a member of the community. Um, I see it active. It's it's not. Uh, it's even more active than ours that simulate sometimes. So we are jealous. Uh, congrats. Uh, and June eleventh. Uh, yes, folks exactly. want to be folks want to be in the community getting ready for staking rewards to drop. So if you're here on this again, more alpha. If you're here for the rewards, <laughs> uh, you actually have a date, June eleventh. All right, um, Shal, Derek, thank you so much uh, for joining us on this Milly MA. We might ping you later as you continue to launch and see how things are coming along. And for liquidity providers who are looking for opportunities. That's why we do these. Uh, we try to say, hey, uh, come over to our community. I think we're at uh, t.me.getsome. So let me put it up in the banner there. Um, we're simile.finance. And we will also, uh, you know, if you're looking for um, BioP set on V2, you can check our V2 version of the app. Uh, come to our Telegram. We'll get you the V2 link so you can add liquidity from our V2 app. And of course, uh, as taking rewards come online and by PSET goes to V3, we will be there for their V3 pool as well. Thanks so much, Derek. Thanks so much, Thanks Shal. And Thanks, Tariq. Congratulations to you both. Thanks. All <laughs> the best. Bye-bye. <laughs>